Hello? Hey Chance, hey, how I'm you Chance. doing? Honestly, so what, what's going on tonight, man? I was making a video on Facebook okay. telling everybody about how I've been harassed and bullied for the last five years. Yeah. And people have began attacking me once again. And I straight out asked a few of them, why is it that you guys sit there and tell me that you want me to do better, but yet you guys won't leave me alone long enough to do better? Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why. Like, I've even made reports to the FBI about yeah. the extortion and everything that they've done to me. I've actually gone out of my way because you know the online site for the for the the FBI to make reports. Yeah. I went on there and I made reports, and I'm not heard anything back. Yeah. Because people keep telling me, hey, you know, tell the FBI, because a lot of my friends and a lot of people that know what's going on have seen the mess up stuff they do, and they're like, dude, like, this, what they're doing is illegal. Yeah, why don't you tell me what's going on? I, I really don't know much, man. Um, about five years ago, I started getting harassed by this guy named Music Biz Marty on YouTube just out of nowhere. What was he, what was he doing or saying? Just, just talking, just shit, just, you know, trash talking. Yeah. And eventually he ended up making a pass at me on a face uh, not on facebook but on youtube and i told him no i don't swing that way okay and stuff well he decided to hire this chick that whose real name is kate peters okay uh she went by mass hole reports at the time and now she goes by mass troll mafia for whatever reason mm -hmm. well she ended up illegally entrapping me and ever since then i've been called every name under the sun i even confronted her and asked her like why did you do that when you had no legal grounds to do what you did? Mm -hmm. You're not it because I actually looked up the laws on it and I told her straight up, what you're doing is illegal. Like a private citizen is not allowed to do that unless you have legal grounds and that person's actually, you know, wanted by the police or whatever. Yeah. And ever since then, I've been called pretty much every name under the sun from pedophile, everything. Okay. And We've actually had people showing up to our house multiple times. Um, these people have actually egged our house multiple times, stolen stuff from our house. Um, these people at one point actually shot at me through my bedroom window. Okay. We called the police. Yeah, that's pretty and, serious. Yeah, and the police, when we showed the police what went down, because we showed them the video, um, they flat out said they weren't going to do anything, so we were just like, why aren't you going to do anything? Mm -hmm. And they flat out told us because that it would be too much work for them to dig the bullet out and do this and that and the other. And we were just like, okay. And then uh, Marty actually ended up showing up here not long ago and assaulted me. And I was not able to press charges. When was that? Like that way back in March. Okay. And then in June, um, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this one, they had sent somebody here that kept on coming on our property. I actually ended up getting arrested because I was just protecting my family mm -hmm. because this dude came onto our property and wouldn't leave. And I gave him a warning before I swung him. I'm like, dude, like you need to leave or I'm fucking swinging on you, dude. Yeah. Like I'm giving you a warning. He didn't leave. I ended up getting arrested because I swung at him. Okay. And I ended up going through court from like July to like freaking September. 
All right, what? so so chance um, about tonight. So you said you were online making a video, basically telling people about what's really going on because I'm trying to reach out for some sort okay. of help to try to put a stop to did all you, this. Did you send this video to anybody, or you just posted it? I on, posted on your... it. I just literally posted it on my Facebook live. Your Facebook. Yeah, and the reason why I had to post it on Facebook because I actually don't have a YouTube channel at this point in time. Okay. Because of all of the hatred that spills out on there, yeah. which is where it originated, mm -hmm. I ended up getting off of there and was like, you know, I don't need that. And it's crazy because a lot of people keep telling me, oh, you know, get off the internet, it'll fix everything, blah, blah, blah. How is me getting off the internet and then me having stuff done to me and my family, yeah. like, that doesn't solve anything. Right. Did you, did chance, did you make any threats to anybody in that video? No, all I did, all I basically said was that if this does not stop, then I will legally start going after people on a legal level because this does need to stop. And that, that's what you said? Yeah. Okay. I basically told people, like, look, but this needs to stop. And at one point, as a matter of fact, that night, he was out there when um, they had launched home about what that dude was doing to you when I got arrested that night. They ain't going to make no difference. Like, they actually, at one point, when he was at work, they ended up breaking into my mom's car and actually egged the entire inside of it. Okay. And then they also tried, how many times did they try towing it? Three or four. Like, that's what these people do because they believe that I'm all this and that and the other. And mm -hmm. I've actually made reports several times to the proper, you know, the proper people on social media like on Facebook, there's a massive Facebook group. I actually have been reporting it multiple times. And according to Facebook, they're supposedly not breaking guidelines. And I'm like, how is harassing somebody not breaking guidelines? Right. Like, Chase, do you have any plans to hurt yourself tonight or hurt anybody else tonight? No, but I have told them straight up in the past that they're, and thankfully my mom was around and helped me out. But I have told people straight up, there was a point in time because of these people where I was at that point. And yeah. thankfully, I didn't go through with that. Yeah, for sure, man. And, you know, and that's why I tell people, like, because of these people that are, because there are a lot of people that have actually taken their lives because of these people that are messing with me. And I basically tell these people, like, look, these people aren't here to say something. Mm -hmm. So I basically have to be that person to be like, look, this is a real thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately... Uh, my dad actually, not him, but my dad that actually adopted me when I was born, he actually ended up disowning me because of these people. Okay. And then I've also lost friendships, jobs, all kinds of stuff because of these people. And it's like, how am I supposed to make a living when you guys are out here doing all this? Chance, did you post this on your, your phone through your Facebook account? It's just on my Facebook. It's not on my phone. It's on my Facebook. You don't have a phone? Well, I do, but it's yeah. not working right now. Okay. Can I get some uh, contact info for you? Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Um, hang on one second. Ed, do you want your number or mom's number? Oh, give me your mom. Oh, yeah. One second, mom. Hey, mom. Somebody call him and say something. Yeah, we see call about him making some threats online. Well, this, this is the second time you guys been here tonight. Yeah, I, I realize that. Oh Have you seen the video? No. no. I don't get on it. No. I don't have nothing to do with it. Oh, I don't know. I got a pencil on paper. You got pencil on paper? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah these are What does he need a piece of paper for? Well, it's got the number on it. Hang on. I don't think she wants him to have a phone number. Okay. I, I just need his his contact info. So. Hey, Chance. Yeah.
Yeah. What? Don't want to hurt yourself tonight. No, I'm just trying to figure out how me and my family can legally put a stop to this because, like I said, we've called the police here uh, literally over 131 times, and it's like, and that's just this year alone. But it's like nothing's getting done, and we're just like, how do we make this stop? Because these people are in different states, it makes it harder to yeah. deal with. And we're just like, how do we put a stop to this? Because so, so with these. Social media, like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Right. Um, people make these fake, fake accounts. Um, they're trying to get oh, information. Oh, I know. And they're I'm, trying to harass you. My best, what I advise you, my man, um, refrain from posting. Um, if you really want to change in this, delete your account. And if you still want to use these platforms, create a new account with a different name. Or, you know what's crazy? Or is a I've, different address or an email address. You know what's crazy is I what's actually that, do I actually do all that, but it's crazy. Within like, as a matter of fact, you can ask him. My mom actually changed her number recently, like okay. you just seen. Yeah. And somehow, or rather, within literally days or even minutes, they find it and are posting it again. Okay. And we're just like, how do you guys do? Like, how are you doing this? Like, that's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, my man, just try to stay off social media. Um, yeah. If these threats are still being made to you. Um, you still need to take. We're yeah. just create a new account, okay? Um, do you have, um, is there any way, like, as far as, like, making this stuff stop, as as because they are, like, obviously out of state, mm -hmm. and the FBI is not really doing anything, really? Yeah. What are some of the legal steps that we could take to try to so put if, stop this? So, telecommunications for us, it's, um, it's hard to prove on the other end that that if that person's like the real name behind that account, if they're the one sitting behind that computer, behind that phone, making those those texts, those tweets, those posts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so it's hard to prove on that end um, that they're even the, that person that they say who they are behind yeah. that account. Um, as far as like going through like, because I know obviously it's very hard to get a hold of like a human okay. like at these social media sites. What ways can we actually get a hold of an actual person there? Because yeah, I'm I'm not sure with those social media accounts. They have their own. Because um, like own we tried to reaching. Because me and all of us have tried to reach out, like to get a hold of like yeah. some sort of human. Because these people have not only done all of what they've done to me, I've witnessed them not only extorting me. Yeah. I've witnessed them extorting other people. And we're just like, 
how or like how are you guys okay with letting this go on on your site? Yeah. All right, Chance. Um, we have some other calls to get to. Do you have any questions for me, my man? Uh, not that I can no. think of. And you're going to try to stay off social media and get yeah. away from those people. So yeah, like I said, you. it's it's definitely hard, but I'm definitely trying. It's like it seems like every time I start to do good and I yeah. start to let stuff die down, they somehow rather figure out a way to like do what to do. Like he said, you guys aren't the only ones that showed up. Uh, what was the other one here for, Ed? The officer that showed up today. Okay. Yeah, what they did is they yeah. um they they'll post uh, ads out on Craigslist sometimes, mm -hmm. and one of the people that showed up today just have to be another officer, and we're just like, that's weird. Yeah, that's that's very weird. All right, Chance. If you don't have any questions for me, we're gonna get back on the road. All right. You enjoy. You guys enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving. Okay? Yeah, you too, man. All right, have a good night, guys. Thank you.